talk a little bit about uh, your suitor on the show, Adam Driver, and acting with him. He was the first person we saw for the part, and literally, like, he walked in. He was, like, carrying a motorcycle helmet and wearing motorcycle boots. He just had, like, a vibe of just, mm. like, I'm going to fuck you all and then fuck you up. Like, yeah. that was sort of the energy <laughs> of it. And he just sat down, and I was like, oh, my God, your name's Adam? The character's name is Adam? That's such crazy. Like, I just... <laughs> and he had it right there. He yeah, didn't he, even know. That's that, all we needed. Yeah, and I was like, we're done here. And then he, in our first improvisation, licked my arm. And, like, yeah. there's literally video footage of yeah. me being like, oh, my God. My skin is basically the tightest it'll ever be. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, my roommate Marty, she's always calling her boyfriend in the middle of the night being like, come bring me some food that I'm not going to eat. She's like, you know, people love those girls just with the tiny business suits and the tiny stomach aches. I used to date a girl like that for four years. She would never take a shit in front of me. It's like you have to cement a relationship where you actually take a shit in front of someone. She likes to pretend like she didn't have an asshole. But whenever she had like bad diarrhea, she always had to go down in the corner of the belly and use the bathroom there. Never experienced it one time. God. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Just freaked out a little bit in your eyes. I, t I did because I'm actually, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm actually a really big hypochondriac. Like, there's only like a vague wandering pain around my body at all times. Oh, God, no, I'm fine. I bleach like every day, every no, part I of mean, my like, body. Like <laughs> it's totally fine. I mean, like, I'm just now, I'm just curious, and it doesn't have to be a deal. Like, when is the last time that you've gotten an HS? <laughs> I'm just asking you, I'm not asking to be an asshole. I'm just curious. No, that's not, that's no, that's no asshole. Just, I don't know, just because you, I've never wanted to know who you sleep with. I've never wanted to have that conversation. Right. I don't want to be like the girl who's being like forcing you to go to brunch. I just. Six months? Ago? Yeah. You had one? 
and you didn't have it. It's HIV. No. No, and not, nothing else either. I mean, a little thing of herpes, but that's just fine. It's your joke. I brush my teeth. No, it's you're, totally fine. You're joking about the herpes. I am joking about the herpes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I don't have herpes. Because I can never tell when you're joking, and it stresses me I'm out. I'm totally fine. Sorry. I'm in a it's tired haze. I'm totally clean. You're totally pretty. <laughs> You're going to go help your friend with their abortion. It's a very honorable profession. Because now I can go help my friend with an abortion and I'm going to just feel the whole time like there's a terrible problem with my body. No, just, just imagine a very sterile penis, and that's mine. <laughs> a very tall, wide, sterile penis. You're being so funny and charming. Like a you're castle. You're oh. making me so upset in a quiet no, way. No, no. Okay, fine. I'll make you a deal. What? Next week I'll go to the doctor. For what? You know, to get my gums checked. No, to have an AIDS test. You will do that? Yeah. But then, like, at the same time, it's like that's the kind of thing you do when you are only having sex with one person. So it's like getting you an AIDS test and then go. Can I ask you a question, honestly? This is going to sound really crazy. Please. Have you ever had sex with a stripper? I just want to know if you've ever had sex with a stripper. Most definitely. You have? Yeah. I can't tell now. I can't <laughs> No. You're such a demon. I can't help it. I'm sorry. Well, Don't stress out. It's fine. There's some things that I want to keep to myself. Like your... My stripper intake. <laughs> Thank you for a very lovely night of... Uh, I don't know what that means. You know what that means. You are a nice person. Okay, um, so I will text you later. Yes, text me. To Okay. Okay? Alright. I was just about to go, I love you, goodbye, but I didn't. That's what I was saying to my mom. So I hate you, goodbye. <laughs> Good seeing you. I hope you dropped that. <laughs> Wait, now I'm just going to kiss you on the cheek. I'm just going to kiss you on the cheek because I feel bad because I feel like I acted like a weirdo. Do you want me to wipe it first and make sure that <laughs>